In today's video, we will be taking a look at my updated 2024 presidential election prediction between Joe Biden and Ron DeSantis. Now, DeSantis just a couple of days ago announced that he will run for the 2024 presidential election on the Republican side. Now, the Twitter announcement he gave was not necessarily the best, and in fact, he has dropped in polling since then. But still, he is definitely by far the front runner against Donald Trump in the GOP primaries. If we look at the polling, though, it doesn't look the best for Ron DeSantis necessarily, as Trump is at 53.5%, DeSantis is just over 20%, which means Trump is ahead by nearly 33%. DeSantis is still by far the front runner against Donald Trump, holding 20% of the votes, while Pence, the third place candidate on polling, holds less than 6% of the total ballots. So, by far, Ron DeSantis is still the most likely GOP candidate to defeat Donald Trump, though the odds of him actually winning is really slipping. So yeah, let's go ahead by filling in Ron DeSantis' likely states first. Alaska and South Carolina will be both likely states for Ron DeSantis. I don't think that is much of a surprise here. As well as that, Iowa, Ohio, these are going to be likely states for Ron DeSantis. These states heavily trending towards the Republicans. In fact, Obama won half of the counties in Iowa, but Biden only won six out of like the 80 counties in the state. And if we look at the state of Ohio, it's a little story here. Democrats used to be doing very well in some of the borderline ocean kind of counties and was able to do much better in some of the rural areas. Trump has been absolutely dominating in the rural areas and dominating in some of the working class areas such as Lake County over here. And some of the counties, such as Trumbull County in Ohio, which has been trending red by heavy margins in recent elections. Some of them tra tra trending red by upwards of 20 points between 2012 and 2020. And that will be likely for Ron DeSantis as well. I think as well as that, the state of Texas should be a likely state for Ron DeSantis. I don't think that is much of a surprise. Now, Democrats tried to win the state back in 2020 but they were un unsuccessful in their attempt, losing by around 6 points, thanks to many Hispanic voters in this part of the state trending heavily towards the Republican Party. Some counties, such as Star County, trended 55 points to the Republican Party, and I know the vote totals in some of these counties aren't that high, but considering how large the shift shifts are, although it can't completely really reverse the trends of counties like Tarrant, Denton, and Collins counties, it does make Democrats mission of winning Texas a lot harder. So as well as that, the state of Florida, Ryan DeSantis being the governor of Florida definitely helps, and he was able to absolutely dominate the Democratic Party in the state, winning by 17 points in this predominantly swing state. He won with 58% against Democrats at 41% in the Florida governor election around two years ago. And really, if we look at Florida, by t starting from 2020, it seemed like there was a Republican trend. Hillary Clinton won Miami-Dade County, the largest county in the state, by 30 points, while Biden only won the county by 7 points, and Ron DeSantis was able to win Miami-Dade County and Florida by around a couple points, which was really impressive, again, because Hillary Clinton beat Donald Trump there by a margin of around 63 to 33, which was really impressive for Clinton at the time, but now Democrats simply cannot achieve margins of even close to that amount in counties like Miami-Dade, which are predominantly Hispanic. So that should give Ron DeSantis about a likely advantage in the state of Florida. I also think he's going to win the state of North Carolina by a lead margin. It's going to be very close to likely, but I think Ron DeSantis will lose will lose some of the support in rural areas, but he'll definitely gain much more of the support in suburban areas, especially the suburbs in Wake County, which is where Raleigh is, and Mecklenburg County, which is where Charlotte is located. So I think he's going to do better than Donald Trump, but still going to be a lead margin regardless. Now, I think Colorado and New Mexico, both of these states, likely for the Democratic Party. I don't think that's very surprising. Colorado voted for Democrats by around 13, again, and New Mexico voted for Democrats by around 11 points. The state of Virginia also could go for Joe Biden. He won the state by 10 points, a much more Democratic state than it was around 10 years ago. And 
find out those will be the likely states for Joe Biden. I'm going to move to his lean states first because it just seems like there are more. he has less electoral votes than Ron DeSantis. But he has quite a few lean states. Maine's at large vote will be lean for Joe Biden, if not likely. I think that Ron DeSantis could do better in the first district, and I think the second district turnout will be higher, considering that if the turnout in the two districts were the same, then Democrats would have barely won the Maine at large vote. But the first district, for some reason, has significantly higher turnout than the second district, though having similar populations. And I think Maine's at large vote will go for the Democratic Party. I also think that New Hampshire is going to vote for Democrats. Democrats in the 2020 election won by seven points in the state of New Hampshire. And really, I don't think Democrats are going to lose the state at all, as Trump only won two counties, which are which were pretty small counties: Coos County and Belknap County. Democrats won really many of the swing counties, and I think that will be the same with Ron DeSantis. I also think Democrats will win the state of Minnesota by a lean margin. I don't think that's too surprising. I think Joe Biden, again, I think will be able to win the state of Minnesota. He did win by seven points in 2020, which does support the argument that he'll be able to win in 2024, because I don't think he, he would lose that many that much support. Now, Blue Earth County is a bellwether county in the state. There's quite a few bellwethers in the state, but Blue Earth County has been run for a very long time in deciding who wins the state in the eventual presidential election. And I think, as well as that, Biden will probably be able to win the county. Now, for some of the final states, these are going to be states that determine really the presidential election, and I think the main second district will obviously go to Ron DeSantis. Let's start with Nevada and move our way over to Pennsylvania and the other Rust Belt states. Nevada, I think, will go to Joe Biden. I think it will be a very close state, but I think Joe Biden has a narrow lead. Now, the state actually trended narrowly to the Republicans, but when I mean narrowly, I do mean it. It was by like 0.0001%, but still nonetheless a GOP trend. And Clark County, by far the, county, the state's largest population center, carrying about two-thirds of the population in the state and two-thirds of the voters, Biden actually lost around 1% of support compared to Hillary Clinton in 2016. Very much notable in this essence, as Biden could end up dipping some more in support and could up, could end up being just shy and end up losing the state in the state of Nevada. But I think Democrats still have the early have the edge because they are going to perform better in counties like Washoe. And I think Ron DeSantis can't do as well in some of the rural areas, which although have substantially fewer populations, are still going to matter in such a close race. I think Arizona, however, will go to Ron DeSantis, the reason being that Biden barely won the state. Biden won the state by 0.3%, so any shift in favor of either party would be significant enough to potentially flip the state. I think that B Biden could still win the state of Mar the Maricopa County. I think he will win Maricopa County, but I think the margin will be just small enough for Ron DeSantis to, while losing Maricopa County, still win the state regardless. I think Georgia's going to be a really close one, and I think Ron DeSantis does have the edge here. The reason being that Joe Biden, I don't think, is going to be able to do that well, because Democrats are having some problems with black turnout. You know, black voters are not that engaged with the Democratic Party right now. Obviously, they're not going to vote Republican, but still, I think a black voter turnout in some of these rural black counties, and especially in the Fulton DeKalb County region, which is where Atlanta is located could be devastating for the Democratic Party. Sure, they may do very well in the Atlanta suburban areas yet again, but I don't think they're going to win the state. So for the state of Michigan, definitely going to go for Joe Biden. I think Joe Biden's pretty much have that state locked, though it's only going to go for him by around 2%. Joe Biden defeated Trump by 2.7% in the state, and I think this state again will be very much close. Nonetheless, I think Democrats have the clear advantage in the state. Because I think they're going to do very well in counties like Oakland and counties like Kent County, which is where Grand Rapids is located. I'd really, as well as that, I think Democrats will do pretty well in the suburban areas, and I think they'll do very well in the urban areas. And the GOP areas, the rural areas in Michigan, are not as conservative as some other rural states. Thus, I think overall Democrats are favored in the state of Michigan. 
I think Democrats are also favored in the state of Pennsylvania, where Joe Biden narrowly carried the state by 1.2% and ultimately won the presidential election thanks to the state. I think Joe Biden will be able to win the state again, thanks largely to due to the fact that many suburbanites are going to vote for him, and I think that areas like Pittsburgh and Philadelphia, and especially the suburbs, are going to come home for him once again. I don't think he necessarily needs the rural areas to become better for him in order to win the state, and that will be crucial because I think he'll only win the state by around 0.5%. I think Nebraska's second, though the district has become more Republican, will still go for Democrats regardless. Now it will be up to the state of Wisconsin, Joe Biden at 266, to Ron DeSantis at 262 electoral votes. And ultimately, I do believe that Ron DeSantis will be able to win the election by carrying the state of Wisconsin. Now this will be a very close state. I don't think Ron DeSantis can do as well as Donald Trump could in some of these Rust Belt states. But nonetheless, Joe Biden only won the state by just over 20,000 votes, as you can see on and the vote tallies, and I think that Ron DeSantis could do just well enough in counties like Waukesha, Washington, and Osuka counties to end up actually winning the state. Again, this will be very close, and I think Trump will have a much easier time in a state like Wisconsin as opposed to Ron DeSantis, as I think DeSantis could lose some voters that are from rural, state, rural counties in the state of Wisconsin or voters of working class voters. Nonetheless, I think Ron DeSantis is still slightly favored. And I think that shows that Republicans really need to nominate someone like Ron DeSantis instead of someone like Donald Trump. However, Trump is definitely the favored in a Republican GOP primary, primary, and he could most certainly doom the GOP of any chances of winning the presidency. Anyways, thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.